The mastermind of the double explosions in Kampala is the ADF leader Seka Musa Baluku, a Ugandan-born notorious man currently serving as the commander of the group. Hello, welcome, News Facts UG, and if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do, and don't forget to turn on the notification button. Kindly let's take more look into some of these details. Following the double explosions that hit Kampala on Tuesday, killing six and injuring many, Uganda police spokesperson Fred Enanga blamed the attacks on the Allied Democratic Forces. Tuesday's attacks were many of those that the ADF group has claimed in Uganda and in the Democratic Republic of Congo that have killed many. Behind the ADF is Seka Musa Baluku, a Ugandan-born notorious man currently serving as the commander of the group. And why Seka Baluku, the leader of the ADF, is believed, is believed to be born around 1977 in Kasese district. Baluku has been the commander of the ADF since 2015, following the arrest of his predecessors Jamil Mukulu, Mukulu who was arrested in Tanzania and later brought to Uganda. Ever since he became the ADF commander, Baluku has expanded ADF's footprint in Uganda and Democratic Republic of Congo by recruiting more followers and establishing allies with the jihadist groups such as the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant and the al Shababs. Baluku is a Mukonjo by tribe, formerly an imam at the Malakanzi Mosque in Kampala, became a Salafi jihadist at a tender age and is considered one of earliest members of ADF. His rise to the top began in the days when ADF relocated to Democratic Republic of Congo under his then commander Jamil Mukuru. Baluku grew through the ranks from being one of chief lieutenants to become ADF's political commissar where his role was teaching the ADF's ideology to new recruits. Following the arrest of Mukulu in 2015, Bakulu, uh, Baluku sealed his place as commander of the ADF and consequently elevated himself to Shea. A polygamist, Baluku, whose two of his many wives are daughters of his former commander Mukulu, is said to have relocated to ADF camp complex known as Camp Kajuju in Medina 2 in February 2020 and a month after his previous camp nicknamed Camp Medina was overrun by the Congolese army. Described by some ADF defectors as notoriously violent and short-tempered, Baluku has since his appointment as commander presided over many crimes against humanity including abductions and recruiting of children to serve as soldiers as well as mass killings of civilians. Baluku's actions have since sounded alarm leading to sanctioning of the ADF commander by world leaders and in December 2019 the United States government designated Baluku as a specifically designated global terrorist and imposed sanctions on him alongside five other ADF leaders. On 6th of February 2020, Baluku was also sanctioned by the United Nations Security Council for engaging in or providing support for acts that undermine the peace, stability and security of the Democratic Republic of Congo. According to UN, Baluku has committed planned and or directed the repeated targeting, killing and maiming, rape and other sexual violence, abduction of civilians, including children, as well as attacks on health facilities, in particular in Mamove, Beni territory, on 12th and 24th of February, that was in 2019. As well as the continuous recruitment and use of children during attacks, and for forced labor in Beni territory in the Democratic Republic of Congo since at least 2015. Well, that is it from the leader of the Allied Democratic Force, uh, Baluku, who is said to be behind the terrorist and twin bomb blast that took place two days ago in Kampala. Well, that is it for now, and thanks for watching News Facts UG. And if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do. And don't forget to turn on the notification button. And if you liked our video, kindly give us a thumb up. And don't forget to comment on this comment section below.
in case we share ideas together. Uh, once again, thanks for watching News Facts, Eugene.